this video clip shows you single row plots with entries of spring rye in the collection of the Nordic Genetic Resource Center. The first two rows present a modern cultivar of spring rye developed in Sweden. It has the name Rogo. The next four rows are selections that have been made, modern selections of spring rye types made in Sweden but not released as cultivars. The next row, which matured a little bit earlier, you can see it, the straw in the row to the right is more yellow than in the row to the left. This is a land race from Norway. The next two rows are land races of spring rye collected in the 1980s in Finland and the row with the label in front of it is again the Swedish cultivar Rogo. The following rows are other land races collecting in the, collected in the 1980s in Finland and the last two rows show again the Swedish cultivar Rogo for comparison. You can see that the modern cultivar matures a little bit later compared to the land races. This may be due to the fact that these land races were collected in Finland and one in Norway. So it's a little bit further north and maybe the vegetation period is shorter there. So they mature earlier under the conditions we have here in southern Sweden where the Swedish spring rye cultivar is uh, adapted. Other differences are in plant height. It seems as if the land races are a little bit shorter. The height is between 130 and 140 centimeters. And a difference is can be seen in the heads. The heads of the modern cultivar are a little bit more regular. They look more smooth than in the landways. I show here for comparison. And this has to do with the number of grains that develop uh, on each step of the head here in the land race it's often three grains that develop while in the, the modern cultivar it's usually only two grains and the grains are more similar in size than in the land race because the third grain that develops can be a little bit smaller and this is something that readers obviously didn't like in the modern cultivars. Spring rye is rarely planted because it yields not as much as winter rye does. Although in locations where you have uh, very late in spring still frost, a winter rye cannot survive and then spring rye is required. Formerly spring rye were also more in need because if you had horses for doing your farming work, no machinery, no tractors, it was difficult to always get all seeding done in time in fall. This material is preserved by the Nordic Genetic Resource Center and is accessible to users all over the world.